Now you can be asked to calculate the forward rates or the forward premium or discount of a forward contract. So of course the forward contract uh, is a contract that you enter into today for settlement in the future. Now let's say we have the spot rate for dollar to pound for 1.2850 and we have the 90 day LIBOR for dollar and pound. So let's calculate the forward rate for a 90 day forward contract for dollar to pound and determine the forward premium or discount on this contract. So to calculate the forward rate first, so the currency given is dollar of a pound. So this is based on the spot rate. So that's based on USD 1.2850 over one pound. Then we'll multiply by one plus the interest rates on both sides. Now to determine which interest rate to use, always remember just use the, the, the interest rate based on the currency in that uh, numerator or denominator. For example, in my numerator, I have US dollar. Therefore, my interest rate here will be the uh, US dollar LIBOR, which is 0 0.025245, okay? And then for the denominator, we have pound. So we'll use the LIBOR for pound, which is uh, 0 0.0080463. And don't forget to multiply by the number of days, which is uh, 90 over 360 for LIBOR. And same thing for the denominator multiply by 90 over 360. So we'll then calculate the forward rate from this. So that will give us, so you will get USD 1.2905, okay, over one pound. Now in this case, uh, this is the forward rate. And if you want to determine the forward premium or discount, we will then take the forward rate minus the spot rate. So that would be 1.2905 minus 1.2850, right? So that will give us 0 0.0055. Okay, so it's a positive difference. So in this case, this is what we call a forward premium. And it is the base currency that is at the forward premium. So in this case, we can say that pound is selling at a forward premium. So if the difference here is negative, then it will uh, pound will be a forward discount currency. Now in some cases, they will also convert this to points or pips by multiplying it by 10,000. So just uh, do watch out. So if you multiply this by 10,000, then it will be 55 points. Okay, so we can also convert it and call it 55 pips or they call it 55 points. So when you are given the forward rate and the uh, so when you're given the spot rate, okay, and the points, the forward points, do be careful to convert it back to decimal first before you add it to the spot rate to get the forward rate.